Hi, this video is about independent sample t-test. In this example, I have the amount of dollars spent for a promotional period and there is a nominal variable type of mail insert. If it is a standard, it's zero. That's way, that's how we have coded it. If it's standard, it's zero. If it is the actual value, that's dollars. It means amount of the uh, pr uh, the promotional money is in dollars, and it's a continuous variable. We wanted to know for these diff uh, two different values of the nominal variables, the mean procedure are same or not. What we do here? Go to analyze. Go to compare. Go to independent samples t test in this case the test variable is the sample spent during promotion and I will the in the grouping variable is the type of the mail insert then I need to define the groups here 0 is for standard 1 and the way we have coded is for promotion to continue let's check the output if you look at it the this first table gives the group statistics there are 50 sample size for standard sorry 250 250 for the new promotion the mean of that sample is 1566 dollars the standard deviation is 346 Whereas for new promotion, the mean is 16,1637. Uh, this says the means are different, but are the means statistically significantly different? That let's see in the second table. The second table, there is a Levin's test of uh, equality of the variances. This test, in other ways, measures the equality of the variances in two samples that is in the sample standard and promotion first value is when the equal variances are assumed the f value is 1.190 and it is not significant that means it's greater than our level of significant 0.05 this suggests that the variances are equal. Then we can go to the next column that is the T value. T value is the stand the value from the standard distribution standard T distribution divided by the standard error. The value is minus 2.260. The degree of freedom is n minus 2. In this case, n is 250 for standard, 250 for new promotion, 500 minus 2, 498. And the level of significance, if you note here, is 0 0.024, which is less than level of significance, what we have assumed as 0 0.05. If this value is less than 0 0.05, we can say at p is, p is equal to 0 0.05 level, steps the the promotional dollars spent on the standard mail and new promotion mail are different that's what we say the mean is different now there would be a case when in in this case the grouping variable was a nominal variable there would be a case when the grouping variable is not a nominal variable take for instance you can see this example i have is the a this is the minutes and the score is the propensity to leave these are both being measured now both are continuous variable a minute it's a continuous variable and score is a continuous variable however i want i can here give a cutoff value from which i can compare the two groups example you go to the compare means go to independent sample t test I put in the average monthly minutes 
and here I put the propensity of the both are continuous variable however this time I need to define my cutoff value I put the cutoff point as 50 continue it's worked let's see the outputs if you look at it the mean stand uh, the mean value when the propensity leave is greater than 50 and less this is the two samples the average monthly minutes have been taken and the mean looks to be 37 and 33 the e e equality of the variances suggest that uh, the samples have both variance however the level of significance is at triple zero which suggests that for sure uh, there is a difference in mean between these two groups that is propensity based on the propensity of the or to leave this is method of using an independent sample t test one of the applications of this could be to test the non response bias based on the respondents categories or in other way based on respondents characteristics